This is Have You Stretched Today? Flexology 10 Day Challenge. And please make sure that you are warmed up before you start these drills. Make sure that you are warm. Okay, let's get it. Starting with the hip hinge, just going back and forth. And please note I'm doing this on both sides. But for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to show one side. And doing some circles as well, making sure I circle in both directions. And when we're ready, we're going to go into a lunge. You want to make sure that your knee is not over your foot. And in this lunge, we're going to sit up straight and shoot our hands down into the ground, just holding it. Hold and breathe. Hold and breathe. This is a static drill. Hold and breathe. Now I'm going to sit my butt back and stretch out my hamstring and I'm going to point my toe as I do this. You do not have to lay all the way down, which means bring my head to my knees. This height level, you can stay there or if you have a little bit more flexibility, you can come down to the knee. But once again, going up high is fine and we're going to move the foot right to left, right to left, right to left. Breathe. And once again, you can stay up higher, moving that foot right to left. Now we're going to shift back into a low lunge and I'm going to show modifications in three, two, one. So you see I have my block now and I'm going to turn around and show you on the opposite side. So all you're going to do is take your block and you're going to put your elbows onto the block if you cannot go low down onto the floor. Because once again, it's not about how low you can go, it's about the mechanics and the drills. And you're going to hold this and breathe. Hold and breathe. And remember, we are doing this on both sides. So now I'm going to sit up. And I'm going to shoot my same arm, same leg through. And if this is all you have, just keep it there. But if you have a little bit more flexibility in the arms, you're going to wrap it around your back. That's level two. And then if you have extra flexibility, we're going to take the opposite arm and we're going to hold the hand. So once again, you can keep the hands out right where it's at. Two right there or three. Hold it. We're holding. So we're going to start with some leg kicks. You can hold onto a pole if you have one, a wall if you have one. And we're just gonna kick, kick, kick. And let's say about eight kicks and switch. And once again, this is not for height. This is just to get our hammies warm or our high heels on my tippy splits. Okay, I'm gonna do eight and then switch back. No breaks because you're great. And then switch. And of course, 45 to one minute. Okay, so we're gonna sit in a pancake. And for those of you who were tapped in from day one, day two, you've seen this drill, the pancake. I'm gonna sit with my legs as far apart as I can lift from butt from under me and I'm just rocking my hips rocking my hips rocking my hips and I'm gonna turn to the side because what I want for us to do is kind of like move your body like a snake and once again if it's here that is perfectly fine snake but if you feel like Use your bugging. Just walk your hands. Rock. Walk. Rock. Back. Rock. Okay. I'm going to do this. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. No, so as you see, I'm going back up coming back down, doing that a few times, and then sitting in the drill to hold it. So it goes from being a static drill to active. And point, and flex, and point, flex, point, flex, and point. 
and just like we did the other time you're gonna walk to whatever side you want and if this is all you have this is all you have but if you can come down come down and then we're gonna stay low and switch sides And you're gonna hold that for 45 to one minute on each side. Then coming back in the middle and going as low as you can. But once again, if you were here, I need you to try to walk your fingers out, even if it's just a smidge. And hold for 45 to one minute, three times minimum. So now my feet are close together. I'm going to come up and over and I'll show you what that looks like from the side. I'm going to come up and over. So it's not hands, it's pelvis, just like we did on full fold. If you was here for full fold, this would be easy. Not throwing shade. I'm going to come down and we're going to hold. So let's hear it. 45 seconds to one minute. Yes. And then we're going to switch to the other side. Now, once again, if you cannot get flush down to the leg, holding it up here is fine. If your leg is up here, that is fine too. But a tip you can take your hand put it on the knee put it on the inside and push down but what happens is it's going to be tight so if you have to stay up here because you're working this that's fine too okay so now we're going to go back to the opposite side after doing it three times minimum on each side once you're done with that i'm going to grab your foot and you see how i bent it i'll turn to the side for you i'm going to grab my foot pick it up and I'm gonna ooh, send it back. I'm gonna turn to the back. It's not out here. My leg is not flushed onto my elbow, but it's close to my elbow. It's not here, it's here, okay? And I'm going to pull out, pull back. Out and back. Out and back. And I want you to do that 10 times. And on the 10th, I'm going to hold for five seconds. Then, of course, switch to the opposite side. Pick up the leg. Shift. Shift. Ten times. That's three. Four. So now you're going to sit with both of your feet together. Pointed toe. And now we're going to lift our arms. And you are going to reach forward. And wherever you stop and you can't go anymore, you're going to place your arms down. And if you can go further, you're going to drop to the elbow. And if you can go further, you're going to slide your feet out and make sure that your chest is flush down. And if it's tight, this is a trick that I have. You're going to move your knees up and down, up and down. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to inhale. And when you exhale, you'll be able to push your chest further down onto your knees, which allows you to reach forward to get deeper in that forward fold. So that flat back that we're all looking for in the forward fold, that's a trick that I have. And you can keep moving your knees up and down, up and down and reaching. And you're going to flex and point. I want us to stand. And you're going to put your hands down and work your hands out. So what's going to happen is we're going to do leg kicks. So I'm going to turn to the front. And it doesn't matter what leg you start with. But I want you to lift that leg up. 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 I'll turn to the other side. So if this is all you have, that's fine. But make sure when you kick that leg up, it does not drop. You hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And keep going. And we're going to switch to the other side.
and two more and other side two more and other side two more okay so the purpose of those leg kicks when we do our standing splits one of the hardest things is to get the legs straight, let alone getting it up. So those drills will help with getting the leg as high as you can and actually keeping it up and working on the muscles in those thighs and quads and hamstrings. So let me give you another drill. Hands are gonna go in the middle. You're gonna open your legs as wide as you can. And it doesn't matter what leg you start with. We are going to lift five times. And after your fifth time, you're going to switch. And now, pull. Take a break. And we are going to do that again. And that was easy, lightweight, so easy. How you can make it a little bit harder and I turn to the side. Instead of your hands being in the center, you're gonna put your hands by your knee. Point your toe still and lift, and lift, and lift, and lift. Same thing if I open my legs, lift, 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 lift. Okay, we'll wind that back. We're starting from the center. And we are going to lift, lift, breathe. You're doing five times. Then you're gonna switch five times. Switch both. And you're gonna stand in front of it, but not flushed. You're gonna leave enough space, just in case let's say you fell back on the wall. Enough space so you can do that. I'm gonna turn facing the wall and my hands are not gonna be at my side. They're not gonna be on the wall. They're gonna be in the middle of the wall in between me. And I'm gonna lean back on the wall and I'm gonna lift my leg. Now, if this is all you have, then let's straighten that leg out and point the toe. Standing split. But if you can go more, I'm going to lift my leg up and make sure it's straight. Straighten my arms, then come down, standing split. Another version, you can take the inside arm, put it on the opposite arm, and if you were here with folding, forward folding, then you would definitely understand it and straighten my leg. Wall was fairly easy, then please try it in the middle of the floor. So what I'm gonna do is turn, and once again, I'm leaning over, I'm hinging. I'm not just going down. I'm elongating everything that I need to do my standing splits. See the difference? My hands are gonna come in front of me, not too close. And I'm gonna lift. Okay, so my hands are down. I'm gonna lift my leg. And if that's doable, then take the opposite arm, excuse me, take the same arm, pull your chest in. And, and if that's doable, take this arm, put it on the inside, lift. And if that's doable, same thing. Leg, I'm gonna come up. On the inside, I'm gonna look up. Standing split.
standing splits. Thank you for joining me today. You are one step closer to your flexible journey. Juice.